Hi guys, welcome back to Tips with Back to Health. Um, my name is Dr. Zoya Resnick. Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit more specifically about BPPV, what it is, how do we address it, how to recognize it, and so forth. I know I covered lectures before on dizziness in general. BPPV is one of the disorders that cause dizziness and vertigo specifically. Vertigo is when you actually see the room spinning around you, like you're on a carousel. With BPPV, it's basically positional. What that means is it comes on or is being provoked by change in position. A lot of people would notice symptoms uh, waking up in the morning. When you're lying down, you're turning to one side or the other side. When bending forward would provoke the symptoms. And basically what you would feel is you would actually see the room spinning around you like you're on a carousel. It would last about a minute or two and then it would go away. It will come on again once you get back into that same position. So what it means and what exactly happens. So just to show you a little bit of a diagram. So this is uh, what our inner ear looks like. Uh, basically we have these three semicircular canals. We have the cochlea on the outside of the canals. The canals themselves are filled with fluid. There are uh, hair cell like receptors. Um, on the inside. The cochlea has these um, calcified particles, crystals in it. The way it functions is, let's say if I turn my head, if I lie down and turn my head, the fluid with inside the canals moves. They're oriented in different directions, so different positions will provoke different canal. Once you stop moving, basically the fluid stops moving. We said that there are hair-like receptors. So when the fluid moves, it sets off the receptor, sends the message to the brain that you turned your head or you moved. The brain uh, responds by adjusting the eye position. Once you stop moving, everything stops right away. What happens with BPPV is that the crystal from the cochlea somehow gets into one of the canals. And what ha ends up happening, once you get into the position that provokes that specific canal, the fluid moves, the message sent to the brain. When you stop moving, um, because there's a crystal there, it keeps moving the hair cell receptors. So the brain still perceives the fact that you're moving your head. And what ends up happening is you start having a nystagmus. Nystagmus is a kind of a quick rotational movement of the eyes. And that's why you see the room spinning. And up until that comes down and that stops uh, moving inside the canal, you keep having the symptoms. So what do we do about it? Basically, um, BPPV is pretty easy to treat. You just have to figure out which canal is affected. There are different sets of tests that we do to help us figure out which canal it is. So we'll go through different positional changes um, and look at which direction the eye is moving, which direction you're having the nystagmus. So it could be the posterior, the anterior, or the horizontal canals. Once we figure out which canal it is, because it's a mechanical issue, we basically take you through the position following the orientation of that specific canal to dump the crystal out. Um, typically, 90%, 95% of the time, it, we can do that within one session and then the symptoms go away. Sometimes it could take a little bit of time, um, a couple of sessions to get the crystal out, depending on how stubborn the crystal wants to be. So. Um, Basically, uh, the maneuvers that we do entail uh, lying you down, turning you through different positions to dump the crystal out if it's an anterior or posterior canal, or doing a rolling test and taking you through other sets of exercises to get the crystal out. So that's basically the gist of BPPV. It's a very unpleasant disorder, very debilitating, but it is something that we can do about it. It is, it is something that we can fix. So if you do experience those kind of symptoms, vertigo-like symptoms with room spinning around you, with positional changes, you know, that could be a BPPV. Typically the first um, thing that you can do, go see your doctor, you could see an ENT who can do a set of tests, you can see a neurologist, or you, come to, you can come to physical therapy. And we do clinical exams here to help us figure out what's going on and then take it from there. Um, so I hope you found that video helpful. Um, if you did, feel free to share it and we'll see you soon for other tips with Back to Health. Bye.